former UConn women's basketball star Diana Taurasi continues to amaze crowds throughout the WNBA. The 42-year-old continues to add to her all-time leading scoring total, and there's even more to her historic career. Channel 3 sports anchor Mark Robbins joins us now to explain. And Mark, last night's game was a homecoming of sorts for her, right? Yes, it was. Of course, it's the 20th or so homecoming for Diana because she's been in the league that long. Last night, she came home to Connecticut but didn't play her typical game as the Connecticut Sun improved to 6-0 and on the season, knocking off the Phoenix Mercury and Diana 70-47. to Brianna Jones right there with 16 points, 12 in the first half. Dewana Bonner and Alyssa Thomas, well, doing their thing, contributing big time. Bonner with 19 points, Thomas 10 points, 8 assists. The 6-0 and start for the Sun, the best in team history, and they'll try for a seventh straight win Friday night at home against Against Dallas. Now, Diana is, of course, already the WNBA's all time leading scorer, and now she's trying to do something else that no one has ever done. Win a sixth Olympic gold medal. She'll try that this summer in Paris. She holds the record of five, by the way, with Sue Bird. For Diana, the records and notoriety are wonderful and nice, but not the main reason she's still playing and playing so well. She's got the bounce and that sly smile we have loved for a long time. And I mean a long time. From her days at UConn to being the oldest player in the WNBA. And at 42, she's averaging 19 points a game. How does she do it? Is there a magic elixir? It's uh, really simple. You show up every single day and you work harder than the next person. It's really just as simple as that. Like, there are no magic tricks. There's nothing special I'm doing on the court. I just get in the gym every single day before everyone and stay after everybody. It's simple if you have that work ethic that's been instilled in you and you practice it almost every day of your 42-year existence. For DT, the grind is fun. Harder now, but fun. You know, there's always that, that curve where it goes from, you know, it's a lot of fun to just a little work. Now it's a lot of work for just an hour and a half of fun, which is actually being on the court and playing the game. But I go through those emotions every day, but I like it. I like the struggle. I saw my dad do it every single day, getting up, you know, to go to work. I did it every single day in Connecticut. It's kind of the way I've just been taught to be in life. With no drop off in her skills or work ethic, it's no surprise Diane is heading to Paris in a couple of months, earning a spot on Team USA for her sixth Olympics. It's the ultimate achievement and one Diana believes needs special attention when it comes to competing on the floor. When it's an Olympic year, things are just different. Um, you know, um, there's a lot of things that you kind of have to navigate and um, obviously when that Olympic break comes, you want to be in a good place as a team, as an individual. 